Good morning. If you are watching this video, you've probably watched my first video about moving, about how I quit my job, dropped out of university, and I moved to Italy. I did this like two months ago. I got so many questions in the comments of that video asking more about how I actually made this happen for myself. And I also asked you guys to send me some questions on Instagram that I'm also gonna answer in this video today. I don't know, people just have lots of questions and I'm going to try my best to answer them today and tell you like how I made this happen for myself. Big stress on myself, like how I made this happen for myself. Everybody's situation is different. I know for myself, I was in a really like oddly specific situation that allowed me to do this straight away without really needing to plan too much beforehand, which is really lucky. This isn't a video giving you advice by the way because I think when it comes to something like leaving a life behind and moving to another country that's such a huge thing that is so different for so many different people's circumstances the way things panned out for me is absolutely not going to be the same way it's going to pan out for someone else and even if you're choosing the same country even if you are from Australia wanting to go to Italy still won't be the same you know first of all the biggest thing that I think is the most important thing to address is I'm incredibly lucky first of all there's two undeniable things I'm really Really lucky that I was born in Australia. Being born in a first world country is a privilege that, that a lot of people don't have um, and that is a huge factor because when you're coming from a first world country it is it is much easier for you to move places and you have more selection as to the places that you can move that's just first off the bat also it is a privilege to also be able to travel at this time especially in australia the borders are closed it's really fucking hard to get in and out of the country um, and if you live in australia you would know that the borders are really tight even between states and i was able to move between states and also out of the country i guess that's another thing with just circumstance like i'm lucky that my circumstance has allowed me to do that. I have parents living in either state. You know, my situation was just unique because not everyone's gonna have parents living in different states that allows them to cross a border like that. That was one thing that just really worked out for me and I was really lucky, I guess. First of all, a lot of people wanted to know why? Why did I move here? Good question. Multiple reasons. First reason being, my boyfriend is from Italy. This is his house. He speaks Italian, that's his first language. And my main reason for wanting to move here was because I wanted to learn Italian. Um, and that's like the main motivation for going. I just wanted to do something different with my life, completely different. This all kind of stemmed from when I decided that I wanted to drop out of uni. You can see from my failing university video, I struggled a lot. And I, university was something that I was really just pushing myself to do because, I don't know, family pressure and societal pressure and just like the, the, like the feeling that like you have to go to university especially in Australia because university here we have hex debts which means the government will pay for your university degree um, like it's a loan that you don't have to pay off until you start earning over a certain threshold you never end up earning over that threshold you never have to pay the hex debt back and there's no interest on it it just is adjusted with inflation so having that in Australia really kind of pushes young people to think why would you not go to university when it's so accessible that's kind of the mentality in Australia that's one of the really lucky things about being born in Australia but also leads to a lot of people like me who show up at university when they really shouldn't even be there because they have no idea what they want to do they're not gonna take it seriously that's besides the point of this video so a question that I'm getting heaps is how was I able to move so fast um, and how much did I save etc etc there's really two parts to how I moved one is the fact that like I got this new full-time job and saved a load of money before I moved and having a lot of savings sitting there basically gave me the freedom to move pick up and move whenever I wanted and the second biggest part is the fact that I had Matteo and his family here when I moved here I would be able to stay with the family um, and stay with him two really big factors absolute like undeniable as the question of how much I had to save I would like the only the only piece of advice that I would really give anybody is if you're planning on making a big move save as much money as you can like really as much as you possibly can while it is entirely possible to move with little to no money it's fucking hard your life will be extremely hard. Given the current circumstances that we are in a pandemic and it's not easy to find a job right now, um, especially for a foreigner, you need to find a way to save as much money as you can. Finances is awkward for anybody to talk about, especially because like it's such a personal thing. Everybody's finances are completely different. Everyone's situation is different, but that's just how it kind of worked out for me. I just worked my ass off to save. Don't mind me just like filming on completely different days. So I was answering questions that you guys gave to me 
Yes, so the next question was if I was studying, I think, right? Yeah, if I was studying or are you working? Did you have a job lined up? Are you looking for a job, etc.? So I didn't have a job lined up before I came here. Honestly, right now I'm just trying to like improve my Italian as much as I can. Like I obviously can't really get a job unless I know how to speak. That's like my number one priority. But right now we're in a lockdown. I obviously can't go out and apply for heaps of jobs anyway so that's kind of the situation right now i have enough savings to keep me going for a while so but i know like there's plenty of things that i can do i know i can um teach english i already have like one person that i might start teaching english to but it'll have to be after the lockdown so we'll see how that goes also i'm not studying while i'm here here on working holiday visa not on a student visa so on this visa like you don't have to work but you have the option to the working rules are really annoying because like you can only work for six months out of the 12 month period you're not allowed to work for half the time you're here like at an employer so you're only allowed to work for six months and then every three months you have to change employer there's also that to keep in mind so we'll see so I'm also getting a lot of questions about my living situation. So right now I'm living with my boyfriend. He recently came back to Italy as well. He'd been gone for like three years. So we're both kind of starting from scratch. So we're staying with his family right now, which is super, super lucky. Yeah, I'm like really thankful that his family are literally the cutest people I've ever met. I love them so much. They're so lovely. So we're really lucky that they are letting us stay here with them. But we do plan to move soon. We haven't really looked into what area we were going to move to. Probably somewhere in the north. So this is actually not as like spontaneous as like my video makes it seem. Like a few, like maybe a couple months prior. Two months prior is when we decided that like we were going to do the Italy thing. Um, and that was because like the world was completely different back in June. At least between Italy and Australia. And this was when like Melbourne's lock first lockdown finished and things were starting to return to normal. And also when Italy's lockdown finished, Italy's cases were falling and it was like, it was looking like both of our countries were coming out of the lockdowns. Anyway, like Melbourne was opening up again, Italy was opening up again. So we were like, sick, we'll do this plan, like it actually can work. And Melbourne got hit with another lockdown, that fucking six week that turned into like a half a year lockdown. Um, and I kind of just accepted that I wasn't, like I wasn't going to be able to move until like next year, to be honest, like early next year or even later. But then, yeah, that opportunity where my dad popped up and like the Canberra thing was a, was a way out. You know, like when an opportunity presents itself, even if it seems like scary or you're unprepared, sometimes you just need to jump on it while it's there because opportunities can pass you by like that. And I didn't want to be left like regretting not acting sooner when I had the chance. So the travel bans and the visas is pretty probably the last part. Australia is still, I think, they have a travel ban on entering and leaving. But basically, if you are wanting to leave Australia for an extended period of time, longer than three months, you generally will not have a problem getting an exemption. This is one thing that was really hard to find information on because they have a vague categories of like compassionate grounds and stuff like this. But if you're leaving for a period over three months, and you can show them that you have the means to sustain you being out of the country for that long, a visa, somewhere to stay, job lined up, or if you have enough savings, they'll give you an exemption. That's how I was granted the exemption. And you can apply under no, urgent, unavoidable personal business. The categories are super vague, but like that, and then there's like compassionate grounds. So yeah, with the visa, the visa that I am on is working holiday. Um, I think you have to be between the ages of 18 and 30 to be eligible for it. And you also have to live in like there's like an agreement between Italy and a small handful of countries. Um, they have like a mutual agreement with like the working holiday program. Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and South Korea. I got super lucky with this one. So that's just one that I'm lucky that I was born in one of those countries, to be honest, to get this particular visa. I know there are other ones out there, but I didn't look much too further into them because I knew that this was the one I was going to go for. It's definitely not a visa that's super accessible to everyone, which is... A shame if you wanted to move definitely explore every option available to you i'm sorry this video is all over the place editing wise but like anyway i'm gonna finish with answering some questions i asked you guys to leave me some questions on this instagram post about the move any any questions you had in general about me moving i'm just gonna go through a couple of them that i didn't really cover in this video for how long did you save up and were you already planning on moving before corona i think we made the decision around 
June. So three months prior, basically. Matteo went back to Italy in June. So we were living in Melbourne for a year together before that. And so in June, he came back to Italy. It was around that time that I was like, we just had like a massive, June was fucked. Being in lockdown taught me a lot of things about my life. It was around that time that I realized that university like it wasn't the right thing for me to be doing university at that moment you know i was pushing myself to do something that clearly was not the right thing for me just was like that's the mindset that i had and so hello <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you look like a fucking worm worm what parts about Italy are better than Australia? Okay, I haven't really had a super... Like, I don't have the deepest understanding of Italy because I've really just gotten here and I've seen nothing so far. I think the main things I'm noticing are... Like, the general aesthetic of everything is so much better here, obviously, than it is in Australia. Um, and it's just, like, a much more beautiful country. And I also like the fact that everything is so close. Like, you can travel an hour and you're in a different city. In Australia, in Melbourne, if you travel an hour, you go from like Richmond to Nunawading and it's like completely fucked. Anyway, I think I have to go to lunch. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, I'll, I'll continue answering questions in the comments. So, that is how I made this happen for myself. My story, I guess, on how, how I got here. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon with another video.